channel i am latoya and my channel is toya maria j so go ahead and like subscribe share and you know all the good stuff so back in 2020 i had a youtube channel before but then you know things got a little busy so i didn't get a chance to kind of see that one through so i'm here recreating it again and change the name and you know just little stuff that time i was focusing more on hair videos in this one i may do hair videos as well but i'm, I'm just gonna do a little transition from here to you know family vlogs and just other stuff personal stuff about me as well so in this video um we're going to talk about me really for you to get a chance to know me you know uh if there's anything that you want to know you can always hit the you can if there's anything that you want to know you can always comment in the comment section below and i'll and i'll definitely follow up okay so uh my aunt is right here and she's just gonna ask me a few questions and i'm gonna answer it and, and you know proceed from there okay where were you born um so i was born in jamaica in the parish of saint thomas um you know i consider myself really young i i think i look young so I, I i work with that so I, I won't tell you the year that i was born or anything but yes i'm from st thomas in jamaica what school did you attend um so when i was much younger i attended a lot of schools um i think because my mom kind of moved around so I, I i attended like prep school i attended primary school basic school so i i did i did a lot of school when i was younger but um my most memorable moment was um, from primary school and high school um, so I went to Duck and Field Primary School and I attended St. Thomas Technical High School which is the best high school in Jamaica in St. Thomas and Jamaica at large <laughs> I know I'll be getting some cursing with in the comment section but you know what bring it on what's your hobby um my hobbies I like going to the gym and that's that's something that I took on when I was you know a little younger and i kind of i kind of stuck with it and it kind of stuck with me too so uh going to the gym is what i like to do what's your favorite jamaican food oh my favorite jamaican food i would say is mutton i love curry goat uh rice and peas on curry goat and uh, so they you know rice and peas on curry goat and you know you have your your, your vegetable on the side that's it with a plum juice that's me right there tell me a fun moment in jamaica about your childhood um so fun moments you know i had a lot of friends when i was younger and i remember especially when i was in primary school i was leaving primary school to go to high school and i had this friend and i used to go after after high school after school is finished and whatever i used to go and look for her at primary school you know you leave high school you, you kind of go back to your primary school and visit and whatnot so i used to go i'd go do that and one time i think my mommy was passing i was at the bus stop waiting for her because i could have walked home based on where the primary school was but she had to drive so i was at the bus stop waiting for her to catch bus to to go home and then my mother was passing and then she saw me across the road and you don't know how that got it because my mother was so was super strict when i was younger right and so she started yelling that's how you come guy and you know also <laughs> all sort of stuff so it was so embarrassing i don't know why par why parents do that and parents if you're watching and you do that to your child please stop it it's not nice who did you grow up with um so i grew up with a lot of family um my mom my aunt um brothers cousins it was a big i lived in a big family yard so i grew up with a lot of family um i also grew up with my father when i before my father migrated um i lived with him on the weekends and it was something i always look forward to because while my mother was super strict my father was the cool person right so i could have gotten to do a lot of stuff when i was at, with my father so and you know those times were good times too because it was it was safe in comparison to now so you know me as a 
me as an eight year old or whatever is always on the street and you know playing around and you know everybody know like oh that's mr james daughter you know so it, it wasn't like anything you know people just know know us around the street you know everybody know everybody and everybody kind of protect each other so it was good times how many siblings do you have um so i have five siblings in total i have what's the favorite place you love to visit when you were living in jamaica uh, so I have a couple of places and this is in St. Thomas. There are places that I, I visit outside of St. Thomas, but um, in St. Thomas, it's definitely Fish Cove. You know, everybody knows Fish Cove. As long as you go to St. Thomas, you know Fish Cove and Reggae Falls. Uh, so Reggae Falls, is, it was a hidden treasure and now it's, it's, more, it's, more, it's more popular. But yeah, those are two of the best places in St. Thomas that I, that, that, that I like to go. Did you have a pet? I did have a pet or I, I did have a pet so my the first pet I, I, I it wasn't for it wasn't necessarily for me but it was a family pet he was Bruno I love that dog I think everybody in my family knows that dog uh he died and then sometime after not sometime after when I was a teen I got a dog I call him Mitch and the dog got sick right my my brother had a, a dog too but my dog got sick and I, I wanted him to take to take it to a vet but well, you know, there's no veterinarian in St. Thomas at that time. I'm not sure if there's any now, but there wasn't at that time. So he died. He died within like three weeks and I was sad and I cried and I know I'm over it. What's your favorite fruits? Uh, favorite fruits? I didn't really have favorite fruits. It was just that you eat anything that's in season, right? And there is always something in season. So guineas you know kneesberry everything so it's whatever i eat it doesn't matter i don't have a favorite did you grow up in the church um i did grow up in the church uh, my grandmother was or my grandmother is a christian and you know we were brought up in the church we were brought up as christian so i got baptized when i was 12 years old were you excited to come to canada I mean, I, I was, I was excited. And if you need a video on me coming to Canada and how I got here, just comment below and I can talk about that. You know, but yes, I definitely was, you know, Jamaican, you want to go foreign or whatever, you want to experience a different life. And I was excited to come, of course. Do you cook a lot of Jamaican food now? I cook a lot of Jamaican food, but and one of the things I always do is visit family that I can get good Jamaican food. So, uh, a lot of, so a lot of the times I, I don't even have to cook. I just go by family because I live pretty close to some of my family. So I just run to my family and get Jamaican food. Can you phrase your mother or your parents used to say to you back in Jamaica? Uh, so my mother, my mother was always like, because I, as I mentioned before, I was always an outgoing person when I was younger, so I, I love to have friends and I love to go places. And one of the saying that my mother always said to me is like, "I know every rain fall, you if it if it wet up, you know, All right?" My father on the other side, um, he was more on the side of, um, you know, if you don't have anything good to say, don't say anything at all, All right? So that is one of the things that my father always said to me and. I keep it until today. Did you play sports? I did not play sports, but uh, you know, going to primary school, everybody runs, so I participated in, you know, a little athletics on sports day. Uh, when I was in high school, I wanted to join the football club or the football team, and I went to one trainer. I'm like, okay, never mind, and that was it. At what age did you get your first cell phone? <laughs> well, I I got I think I think I got it pretty young, cause I rem I think I got my first cell phone when I was maybe thirteen years old. I know for today's kids that's pretty old, but for for my cause that's that was when I was in I think second form, right? And I got my first cell phone, so that was ageable enough for my time. <laughs> What's your favorite subject in school? Um, my favorite subject in school was math. I think I was pretty good at math and I like
like physics as well. Did you drive to school when you were in high school? I did not. <laughs> I did not have the luxury to drive to school. Tell me about your natural ear journey. Um, so my natural with my natural ear, as I mentioned before, I'm transitioning my YouTube channel from solely natural here to know you know more about me you know more more family stuff more more just things in general um so i was natural most of my life in 2013 or 2014 thereabouts i relaxed my hair and i transitioned transitioned back the year after 2015 and i transitioned because i was now able to i saw how i treated my relaxed hair and i'm like Okay, if I treat my natural hair just as how I treated my hair when it was relaxed, maybe it will grow. And that's exactly what I did. And it's been a rough ride, to be honest. It's been years. It's not even as long as I want it to be. Obviously, this is not my natural hair. But, you know, in the future, you will see it. And we'll go from there. But, yeah, I transition. my natural hair journey has been rough. Not an not a easy flow at all. A lot of errors, a lot of trial and error, a lot of mishaps. But... You know, I prefer my hair natural and I think I will continue with that for now until it drives me nuts and I can't bother. Were you allowed to wear makeup? Ah, uh, yes. Um, there wasn't any problem in my household or me being a Christian to wear makeup or jewelry or anything like that. Um, it was more of a preference. Uh, when I was younger, I wasn't really into makeup or, you know, a lot of those things, but... Now you may see me wearing it and I maybe wear it more often now, but when I was younger, I didn't, I wasn't really into that, that kind of thing. Tell me about Christmas time in Jamaica. Uh, well, you know, Christmas time in Jamaica, for one, the food, you know, you can't have Christmas and not have food and the pepper lights. It's not so much common now in terms of pepper lighting or whatnot, but like when I was younger, the streets everywhere full with pepper lights and it was it was just a nice life there's concerts here there but little children parties or giveaway here and there and it was all there was always somewhere to go you get new clothes you get all little food you know you, you you hang around your family you hang around your friends so it was just it was really good times in christmas which do you prefer canadian christmas or jamaican christmas well, you know, both has both has their ups, both has their ups. Um, for one, you know, both places you have your family there, so it's good. Uh, food both places, it it's just one is cold and one is hot. But to me, it's 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 pretty much the same because I have food and family, and that's what I love most. So there you go. Hi. So this was just a short get to know me and. You know, you can always like, comment, subscribe, comment if you want to learn anything else about me, comment if you had similar experiences to what I have or you see, you, you share uh, any kind of similarity with me or whatnot. So just comment below, share, like, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Um, see you in the next video. Bye.